Okay, welcome to part three of this tutorial series. In this video, uh, I'm going to be covering how to actually display the image on the profile. So if we just go back to our, well, this is where we left off, basically. I'm just going to carry on. So if we go back to our page and go back to our user list page and go to my profile, what we want to do is display the image that I uploaded here. So to do that, we need to sort of look at the profile page. So let's go to the profile page. So what we want to do is just add an image tag above this sort of username section here. Um, and the function that gets all of the user information is this fetch user info function. So that's the function that we're going to be editing next. So going back to our backend file and scrolling up to the fetch user info function, we need to add something here to um, sort of add the sort of path that will be used in the image tag. So instead of just returning the information from the database, we need to store it, add something to it, and then return it. So we're going to delete the return there, add a new variable called info, and set this equal to the result of the query. Then we're going to add to the info array, we're going to add avatar, which is just going to be the path to the image. So this is going to be core. So this is the path, um, not the like full file path on the server. It's the path that the browser should request so this may be different for your site. Anyway, for this, anyway, it's core slash user avatars avatars slash the user ID, which we haven't actually got yet, but we're going to get it as part of the query. So info ID, uh, there we go, dot jpg, because that's basically what we saved the image as. So it's just uh, well, it's this portion here, except the call path has been replaced with call because that's the path that the browser should request, like I said. So, uh, what we need to do now is just add the ID to our query. So, we're going to go here, add it to the top because it, that's the order of the. Uh, I usually select fields in the order they appear in the table. So, we're adding it first because it's first in the table. table. So, we're going to add user ID as ID for the same reasons as before, so I'm not going to explain what I'm, good, what I'm doing here, I'm just also selecting the ID as well as all this other information. So then once we've done that, we just need to return this information, so return info, done. Now going back to our profile page, we can um, just come here and add an image tag, source attribute, which is going to be PHP, PHP, echo, user info avatar which is what we just added to the array and the alt text can just be avatar or something what yep <laughs> there we go so now if we go back to our uh, my profile and just reload the page you can see we get that image that I just uploaded now the problem here is that if I just go back and go to Bob's profile you can see we just get the word avatar and you can see that because I can't actually highlight that text, it sort of drags. That's actually the alt text of the image. It's a broken image. Um, and the reason for that is that because Bob doesn't have an avatar image. So what we need to do is check if the file exists in our function. And if it doesn't, we're going to return the path to the default avatar image. So if we go back to our um, code, our backend file, we just need to add a check here, which again we're going to do using the ternary operator, because it's sort of a simple check, nice to do it on one line, and when the check we're going to be doing is file exists, and if whatever this file is does exist, we're going to use its path, if not, we're going to use something else, which we'll define in a moment, and the file we want to check for the existence of is basically this here, so we're going to just copy that and paste it there, except we want to check, um, because we're working with an actual file, not like requesting it as a browser would. We want to use the server path to the core folder, not the path that a browser should request. So instead of using the core sort of name there, we're going to use the uh, path that we worked out, which is globals path. Um, and just what we want, to, well, this next bit, uh, what we want to use if the user doesn't have an avatar is effectively the same. So I'm just going to copy that again and paste it there, uh, fix the quotes, um, and instead of using their user ID, we're just going to use 
defaults. Um, now obviously if we go to back to our user avatars folder you can see we don't have a default image but I have prepared for that. Now we have one. Magic. <laughs> um, no, not magic. Copy and pasting. Um, well, dragging. Whatever. Um, yeah, so now we have this default image and because this isn't a number uh, no user will ever have the ID of default. I mean, you could have this image anywhere. It doesn't have to be in the avatars folder. But I'm just putting it here because, well, it's an avatar. So, yeah. So if we go back to Bob's profile and hit reload, you can see we get this massive default image now. Obviously, you would probably design something a bit nicer than default image. And saying that, you would actually probably design something a bit nicer than this page. There you go. You can see how big the image is. Um, so that's what that's the size that a 200 by 200 avatar would be. It looks bigger than my profile. Maybe I did it too big. Anyway, um, so just going back, clicking on my profile again, we have this, which is the image I uploaded. Going back again, clicking on Bob's, we have the default image. So now each user has a unique profile image, um, except if they don't have one, they will all be given the same default avatar. Um, and then I believe that is everything. So um, I'll just prove that it works by changing my profile once again. Um, so let's use this weird clocks thing. Clocks in a bucket. I'm not sure why you want to have that as a wallpaper. Anyway, so go back to the user list. Click on me. All right. Oh, it has changed. I had to refresh again. Um, <coughs> uh, so there we go. That's basically working, and this is what we ended, what we started off with. So thanks for watching, and hopefully this was sort of useful. It's been on my to-do list forever. So sorry to the person who I promised it to, but. There you go. So thanks for watching and don't join me in the next part because there isn't one. <laughs>